The roar at Dodger Stadium was deafening. Fireworks lit up the California night. Los Angeles was a sea of blue, celebrating the Dodgers' eighth World Series title. The 2024 World Series was a classic. It pitted the storied Los Angeles Dodgers against the mighty New York Yankees. Game 5, the final showdown, was a roller coaster ride of emotions. The Dodgers faced an uphill battle, but never gave up. They chipped away at the lead, inning by inning. In the end, they emerged victorious, proving their mettle on the biggest stage in baseball. The Dodgers had once again reached the pinnacle of the sport, cementing their status as one of the greatest franchises in baseball history. Yankee Stadium was electric. The Bronx Bombers were in their element, feeding off the energy of their home crowd. From the first pitch, it felt like their night. Aaron Judge, the heart and soul of the Yankees, set the tone with a towering home run. Giancarlo Stanton joined the party with another two-run homer. The Dodgers were reeling. Their pitching staff, usually so reliable, looked out of sorts. The Yankees, on the other hand, were firing on all cylinders. Their bats were hot, their defense was sharp, and their pitching was keeping the Dodgers hitters off balance. The pressure was on, and the odds were stacked against the Dodgers. Giancarlo Stanton was on fire. He was the driving force behind the Yankees' early dominance. Stanton's home run in the second inning was a thing of beauty. He connected perfectly, sending the ball soaring high above the right field wall. But Stanton's impact extended beyond his offensive prowess. He was a rock in right field, making several key plays to keep the Dodgers off the scoreboard. The Yankees fans were in full voice, chanting Stanton's name and waving their rally towels. The Dodgers, meanwhile, were searching for answers. The fifth inning began with a glimmer of hope for the Dodgers. Aaron Judge misplayed a routine fly ball, allowing the Dodgers to put a runner on base. Freddie Freeman stepped up to the plate and ripped a line drive into the gap, scoring the Dodgers' first run. The Dodgers' dugout erupted in cheers. It was a sign that the Dodgers weren't finished. The Yankee Stadium crowd had fallen silent. The momentum had shifted, and the Dodgers were starting to believe in a comeback. The tension was palpable as the game entered the late innings. The Dodgers had chipped away at the lead, but the Yankees still clung to a one-run advantage. Mookie Betts ignited the rally with a double off the wall. The tying run was on base, and the crowd at Dodger Stadium erupted. Gavin Lux delivered a single to left field, scoring Betts from second base. The game was tied. The Dodgers had battled back from the brink. The stadium was rocking. The improbable comeback was nearly complete, but the game was far from over. Walker Buehler took the mound for the Dodgers in the ninth inning. The Dodgers' ace had ice in his veins. Buehler was masterful, retiring the side in order and striking out two of the three batters he faced. The Yankees had no answer for Buehler's dominance. The Dodgers' defense was flawless behind him. The ninth inning was a clinic in closing out a high-stakes game. As the final out settled into the glove of Freddie Freeman, a wave of euphoria washed over Dodger Stadium. The Dodgers had done it. They had overcome a four-run deficit to win Game 5 and clinch the World Series. The Dodgers' victory resonated far beyond the confines of Dodger Stadium. It was a victory for the city of Los Angeles, a city that had embraced the Dodgers as their own. Fans poured out of their homes, celebrating in the streets. The Dodgers had brought another championship to Los Angeles. The victory was a testament to the Dodgers' never-say-die spirit. As the celebrations continued late into the night, one thing was clear. The Dodgers' victory had captured the hearts and imaginations of a city. They had etched their names into Los Angeles folklore, becoming synonymous with resilience, determination, and triumph.